which of these graphs could be a graph of function f such that 1 over 3 minus 1 times the integral from 1 to 3 of f of x dx is equal to 2. And the way to solve this is to recognize that this expression is in the form of an average value problem. This is just like saying the average value of function f from 1 to 3. And seen that way, you just have to find which of these functions has an average value that is equal to 2. And it should be pretty clear at a glance that A is the only one that matches that. A goes from 1 to 3 at a steady rate. So during the interval 1 to 2, it has an average value of 2. And then it goes back down from 3 to 1 at a steady rate over this interval from 2 to 3. So over that interval, it has an average value of 2. Uh, function B, uh, of course, has an average value of 1. And function C, if you drew a straight line from one end point to the other, it's going from a height of 3 down to a height of 1. So this straight line would have an average value of 2. So function C, which is always above that, must have an average value more than 2. So we rule out option C also. Function D, for the same reason, if we went straight from 3 to 1, and then a height of 3 to a height of 1 and then straight from a height of 1 back to a height of 3 then both of those segments would have an average value of 2 so the function in this case has an average value that is always below that and then function e here this goes over this interval it goes from 1 to 4 so it has an average value of 2 and a half so a is the only choice and just remember real quick the theory behind the average value. If you have some graph, this could be any function, and you imagine the area under the function from A to B, well, the area right there is the integral. That's the integral from A to B of f of x dx, and that's just an area. So that area would be a width times a height Okay, but what do we use for the height? Well, if we just wanted to express it as a simple width times height, we would need to use the average height. So this area would be equal to the width times the average height. And the width is just b minus a right there. So if you imagine replacing this width right here with this b minus a, then the height would be this integral divided by b minus a. And that's what we have up here. We have this integral divided by b minus a, and that's the height, the average height of the function. So we interpret this, when we read it, we recognize the form of the expression and interpret this as saying the average value of function f is equal to 2, and graph a is the one that matches that.